And Berlin has been teasing us. Ooh, daddy. The other day she teased answering a question about being on a reality show. And it got me thinking, it would be a pretty interesting movie if somebody made a film about Amberlynn's life during the time that she's had this YouTube channel. So I have taken it upon myself to cast this movie. The working title I have right now is Sleepless in Oklahoma. And I plan on casting... One second, let me check something out. So it turns out that ChatGPT thinks that my title is amazing. So uh, we're good to go. But if you guys have any better options or you think that uh, this title sucks, let me know in the comments below. Now, there are a couple of rules that we are going to be operating under um, as I go throughout all of the characters in the Amberverse. So first and foremost, all cast members must be alive. Last week, I had put out a community post asking who y'all think I should cast Amber Lynn as. And one of the great suggestions was Chris Farley, but unfortunately, that man is dead. As casting director, my biggest goal is to make sure that whoever I'm casting is going to look like the people they're playing. So I have used a website. I'm going to put it on the screen right here and I upload a picture of the person and then it generates a bunch of celebrities that they look like. From there, I'm going to decide do they have the acting chops required to play this role? Do I think that with the help of accents or prosthetics or anything like that, can they play this role correctly? And will they bring star power to this movie? Because at the end of the day, we're trying to profit, right? So first up, we have Dana. Dana is Destiny's ex, and she's the woman that Destiny left Amber Lynn for. When I think about Dana, I think she's a little bit dry, she's a little bit country, and she is Dana. So we have three options, Julia Stiles, Kelly Clarkson, and James Corden. What you'll notice as we go through these is that if you were to take the three options and morph them into one person, they would probably look like the character we're trying to portray. But first and foremost, I would never work with James Corden. I would rather drink liquid bleach and set myself on fire than work with him. So he is out. That's an absolute no. Now for the remaining two, I think Julia Stiles would be amazing. I think she looks like Dana, I think that it would be a perfect fit. What I'm worried about is that she is not going to fit that country aspect that is required for this role. Maybe that's not like something so necessary for the rest of them. But for some reason, when I think of Dana and when I um, imagine her speaking, it just sounds so country. So I need it to be more country. So for that reason, we're going to go with Kelly Clarkson and we may need to change that depending on if the rest of the cast ends up being a little bit younger than her. But for now, congratulations to Kelly Clarkson. You've been cast in the best movie of the year. We are gonna write your name right on the cast list and uh, we'll also write your name right on our hearts. Next up, we have Amberlynn's mom. The only picture that I am able to show on screen is the picture that Amberlynn has had on her shelf in her kitchen for like weeks now, but her mom has actually shared a lot about herself online already. So I was able to pull a different picture to filter through all of the celebrities. But for the sake of this video, we are going to use this heavily filtered picture of Amberlynn and her mom. The three actors we have to consider for this role are Martha Stewart, Leslie Manville, and Susan Sarandon. Now, at first glance, you would think like Martha Stewart's personality is not right for this role, but surprisingly, she does have like a gritty side to her that I think could work. Um, but unfortunately, she's not done a lot of like acting roles, so I'm going to have to disqualify her just purely based on that. And then between Leslie Manville and Susan Sarandon, they both have like a similar flavor to them. And obviously both of them are 
incredible actors as well. So I think this is going to come down to star power. Um, and obviously Susan Sarandon is going to be the winner here. Congratulations, Susan Sarandon. You are playing Amberlynn's mother. Your name is now on our official cast list. And no matter what you do, you will not be let out of this contract. Thank you. Next up, we have Rafe. Rafe doesn't really matter, but we do need to cast this role because Rafe does make an appearance here or there. So first up, we have Barbie Ferreira. Leslie Headland and Rain Wilson. Obviously, Barbie Ferreira is from Euphoria, um, and Rain Wilson is from The Office. Leslie Headland in the middle is actually a director slash producer slash screenwriter. Kenneth, <laughs> I'm trying to record, honey. Okay. Now, since Rafe isn't like that important, we don't really need to rely on star power for this role. Uh, so. Leslie Manville being a director and a producer and a screenwriter and not necessarily an actor isn't going to immediately disqualify her. I can see why the website thought that Rain Wilson looks like Rafe. I get it. But considering that Rafe is a lesbian, we need to make sure that uh, we don't have a man playing a lesbian. And then comparing Rafe to Barbie, I feel like Barbie has a similar face to Rafe and I also think that she would be able to play this role a little bit better than Leslie so we're just gonna go ahead I don't need to discuss this any further uh, the role is going to Barbie Ferreira um, congratulations girl um, I'm really sorry that you had to fall down so hard from Euphoria to this stupid project but honestly girl like Thank you so much for this charity work. Next up, we have the comedic relief, Ricky. This is Ricky from the duo known as Eric and Ricky um, that were roommates with Amberlynn and Beck in Kentucky. For this role, we need a comedic actor. We need somebody who can be funny. We need someone who looks like Ricky. Um, and here are our options. Mark Zuckerberg, Pete Davidson, and Tim Blake Nelson. I think it goes without saying that Mark Zuckerberg is not right for this role. And between Tim Blake Nelson and Pete Davidson, I think that the answer is clear. Pete Davidson, you are our Ricky. With Ricky cast, we now need to cast Eric. I want to make sure that whoever we cast to be Eric will look good with Pete Davidson. I want to make sure that it looks like Eric and Ricky in the movie are supposed to be together the way that Eric and Ricky in real life look good together. For Eric, I had two pictures to go off of. I wasn't getting many results with either of these pictures, but I uh, did the best I could. And here are our options. Sebastian Vettel, Bam Margera, and Dan Fulger. Since so far we seem to be having luck with just getting rid of one right off the gate, uh, Bam Margera, who is known for being a skateboarder and reality TV star, um, is actually heading to court this month for, it's not funny, um, he went, he's going to court for assaulting his older brother. So um, he will be busy with lawyers um, he won't be able to play this role. And then between our final two, Sebastian Vettel is actually a German motocross. Sebastian Vettel is actually a driver in German motorsports. So he's not even an actor, but he is in entertainment. So he does qualify as one of the options. So I'm not breaking my own rules. Let's just make that clear. Unfortunately, I'm having an issue now because I'm looking at Dan Folger and even though I know his work and I think he could do justice to this role, he is much, much older than the other people that we're casting. Um, at least visually, he looks older. No offense, my dude. So I don't think any of these three options are gonna work. Guys, have no fear, I have figured it out. Ben Platt is going to be our Eric. I think having Ben Platt play Eric is uh, really nice to Eric. I think that there couldn't be a nicer choice. Ben Platt, thank you so much. Again, um, all of these actors are really just scraping the bottom of the barrel to be a part of this movie. And I really just appreciate it so much. Next up, we have Wifey. Wifey is notoriously not an on-camera persona in the Amberlynn world. In fact, we're not supposed to know anything about her if we're going by the guidelines of like whatever Amberlynn has put out in the world is what we're going to allow in this video. When I think of wifey, I always think of this meme. 
Uh, sorry about that, but I don't know how else to uh, represent her in this slideshow. The only other thing I could think of to signify her was like a gust of wind or uh, something to do with the rain since she has a tattoo now, thanks to Amberlynn about being a pluviophile. So I just decided to keep her as a gust of wind. The three options to cast her in this movie are Leslie Jones, Uzo Aduba, and Kiki Palmer. I really hope I'm pronouncing Uzo's name right, um, but she is famously from Orange is the New Black. Leslie Jones is from SNL and Kiki Palmer is from Everything. Since all three are stars in their own right, and honestly, I don't have much to go off of as far as like wifey's appearance, I'm gonna pick the person that's in the age range that would go along with the rest of the cast so far. Um, and that person would be Miss Kiki Palmer. She's a queen. Wifey, you're welcome. And moving forward, we next up have Crystal, which is Amberlynn's first girlfriend if we're looking at Amberlynn's life through the lens of YouTube. Crystal is interesting. She's very introverted and quiet, like very soft spoken, um, but she's just an odd duck to me. So the first option I think fits her pretty well, which is Lena Dunham. The next option is Amber Tamlin. And then we have he Leslie Headland showing up again. Who knew that a director could just look like everybody, but here we are. Right off the bat, I'm not liking Leslie for this role. Um, so she's definitely not getting it. I do like Amber. I think that Amber would do a great job, but I think it's pretty clear as day that the role is going to need to go to America's resident quirky girl, Miss Lena Dunham. Was her wearing glasses in the picture provided on the website part of the reason why I gave her this role? Maybe. But ultimately, if you know Lena Dunham's personality and how her acting roles usually go, I think that she would do a very good job at playing Crystal. Now we are down to the final three. These are the three that I had the most trouble with because obviously these three are going to be our main characters in this movie. Both Destiny and Beck were girlfriends of Amber Lynn at one point um, and Destiny was the person that Amber Lynn was like in love with for years, even while being in a relationship relationship with Beck. So the Destiny character needs to be played by the perfect person. The actors being considered for the role of Destiny are Nicola Coughlin, Skrillex, and Martha Plimpton. Nicola Coughlin is from Bridgerton. Martha Plimpton is a well-known actress and Skrillex is Skrillex. <laughs> Don't ask me why the website said that Skrillex look like Destiny. I do not control these things. I am just here to present the uh, findings. So I think it's pretty obvious though that uh, Skrillex is not the best option. I think that Nikola and Martha could both play Destiny very well. I think that Martha Plimpton would be perfect for Destiny just because she's a very funny woman. Um, and both of them, I mean, if you just cut their hair and put some glasses on them and then throw on some baggy t-shirts, I mean, you've got destiny right there. So I think this is gonna come down to the difference in age. And for that reason, Nicola, you are our destiny. I think you'd be the perfect person for this role. You're well known, but you're not necessarily a household name. So I think you would be able to do a lot with this role. And I think you would do a fantastic job. It'll be fun once we get to the person playing Amber Lynn to see if that person looks like they would date Nicola because she will be destiny. Next up, we have Beck. Beck is going to be the second most important character in the movie. I had trouble coming up with a variety of results for Beck as well. The person to play them should be nice or at least able to play nice and they need to be able to smile through the eyes. Beck is somebody that when they talk you can see like who they are as a person through their eyes so that's going to be very important. Our options are Amy Schumer, Mama June Shannon, and Andy Richter. Mama June would be good because of her country aesthetic. I think that like her like little, no offense, backwoods energy would work well for the Beck character. But ultimately she is not 
an actress and we need somebody who is going to be able to handle this role considering they're basically one of the leads. Our final two options are also not ideal. If I wanted to make a joke right now, there would be a perfect casting for Beck, but I'm not going to make that joke. You can't make me. Andy Richter is a little too old for this role, so unfortunately we're gonna have to go with amy schumer amy schumer congratulations Nikki, congratulations you were going to be back i don't want to hear it get over it show up on set you're gonna make money so just be quiet finally we are casting Amber Lynn Reed herself. This person needs to have serious acting chops. Besides looking like Amber Lynn, they need to be able to play sad, happy, mad, manipulative, jealous, bitter, liar, gaslighter. Did I say manipulative? Besides looking like Amber Lynn, whoever fills this role needs to be able to encompass everything that Amperlin is, the long laundry list of qualities that she has. The actors being considered for her role are Rosie O'Donnell, Amber Portwood, Josh Gad, Chrissy Metz, Jorge Garcia, and Joey King. Immediately, without even thinking twice, Joey King is being cast as the younger Amber Lynn in the flashbacks that will be in the movie. Jorge Garcia, who I believe is from the show Lost, um, does look like Amber Lynn, um, but is far too hairy for this role. So he is going to be out. Josh Gad is less hairy, but his voice is just it screams Olaf from Frozen. I can't have him playing Amberlynn. It would just take me out of the movie. So that leaves us Rosie O'Donnell, Amber Portwood, and Chrissy Metz. Based on age, Rosie O'Donnell should be out. I think that she's not nearly in the same age range as the other actors. So that leaves us with two options. Amber Portwood from Teen Mom fame and Chrissy Metz from the hit show, This Is Us. Believe me when I say I really struggled over this choice. Obviously, Chrissy Metz looks exactly like Amber Lynn, but Amber Portwood has that like grit to her. Even though she's not a traditional actress, I love the idea of this being like her first big role. And I also thought that like with her rough upbringing and like basically her rough life, she would be able to play such a complex character who has had like such a rough life herself. I literally had to go on YouTube and look up clips of both of these women because <laughs> even though this very real movie isn't real, uh, <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was not going to choose somebody that I would then get roasted for in the comments, um, which may still happen, sure, but the answer became clear to me um, pretty quickly. Chrissy Metz, you are cast as Amber Lynn. Congratulations. I know that this is your dream. When you were a child, you used to ask Santa to play her in a movie one day and I just I'm honestly so nice to give you this chance like you're so welcome oh and I forgot to mention I had also considered A.D. Bryant and unfortunately I didn't include her on my list but she was a part of the original list of 12 that I was considering for Amberlynn but ultimately she didn't make the final six that I was considering because A.D. Bryant while she is so funny so talented so beautiful um she is a little too sweet <laughs> to play Amber Lynn. uh I think that that is something that we could all agree on so Unfortunately, she was not included. I did plan on putting her in place of Josh Gad at one point, but then I forgot. And guess what? We're all going to survive. Okay. Let's all, we're all going to be okay. So this is it, people. This is, uh, this is our cast. We have Chrissy Metz playing Amber Lynn, Amy Schumer playing Beck, Nicola Coughlin playing Destiny, Lena Dunham playing Crystal, Kiki Palmer playing Wifey, Ben Platt playing Eric, Pete Davidson playing Ricky, Barbie Ferreira playing Rafe, Susan Sarandon playing Mama Lynn, and Kelly Clarkson playing Dana. And obviously it goes without saying that 
Uh, Kenneth will be playing Twinkie Store. He was meant to be a store. He will be playing a store. It just, math is math. It makes sense. Let me know in the comments if you think that I royally messed this up and let me know if you would choose anybody differently for these roles. I am genuinely curious. Because these options were first filtered by looks only, um, that really did take a lot of actors out of the mix that could have been used and could have been probably a better option if they just dyed their hair or I don't know, or use like prosthetics. So that leaves a lot of actors that could be in these roles, but just didn't make the cut based on like what I had decided. So I want to know what y'all think. I want to know if you like my casting. I think it's pretty good. And let me know if you would like me to do a video like this for anybody else like Foodie Beauty. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, I will have my socials listed right here if you would like to follow me. And please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.